people, welcome back to the Spider's Web, and in this video we're going to be doing the Knight Lord. Um, now I do have the other three knights made up already. I didn't, I'm not doing um, like I've done with the previous ones where I've shown you how to build one and then do the, um, what do we call it, do the, um, the command squad as just extra bits because of the fact that these this is one self-contained thing that is made up as is as is rather than just being sort of like additions to a traditional the uh, traditional mini so what we're going to do is we'll put the chap here to one side and we'll do the horse first of all I'm going to start off doing the obvious bits of the horse and then we have other bits that we need to play about with. So we will cover these edges with the glue because we know that this bit is going to attach to its other side. There we are. I'm also going to get the tail. In fact, no, I won't. I'll leave the tail to after. I don't know why I thought I'd try and be clever on this because it never works when I do that. <laughs> I will just clean off a little bit of flushing that I've missed. Not flashy. Um, the connection points for the sprue. There we are. Use that one as well. Yes, it is. Oh, I didn't see that one at all. Oh well. Right, next thing we will pop a little bit of glue in there and we'll pop in the tail. There we go. That is that done. And we will attach this to the base and now we've done that uh, just make sure it stands properly before we do anything else with it yep and we'll just pop it to one side just to dry so make it solid okay next oh god let's take that off it's not quite a solid enough grip yet hopefully that will do stay there don't fall over <laughs> right next bit while we're waiting for that to dry we'll do will work on the Lord himself. There we are. Now I could if I wanted to make these two separate videos as these are two separate models but any horse rider would know that the horse and rider are one and the same. So we have to treat them as such this is a fun part, I've not, not had to do this on the other ones, but this part here, I'll get some glue on it, goes into this part here, and then we can pop it onto this part here, and we survive his head. 
Oh dear. So next is this bit is uh, the leg. Now which? How does it go in? Just like so. Okay. So we will add some glue around here and pop that in just like so. The horse has stayed up, which is nice. <laughs> and then this part here, I would assume, fits on the other side. Like so. And the head keeps falling off. I should have waited to put the head on till last, as I have done with all the other minis. But I decided to be clever, as usual, even after saying, don't try and be clever on camera, because it never works. Ah well. Oops. It's only upside down, I can see what I'm doing better. There we are. That fits on the and that head is beginning to soften and melt. There we are. I'm going to take the head off again. Pop the hood, pop the cape over, and then put the head back on because I'd forgot about the thing, the chain being round the cape. <coughs> so I will leave that like that and go back here. That looks a little bit solid now. Well, this is not doing well. Right. I'll take the head off and I'll put the leg. Oh, dear God. I'll put the leg on properly. Now I've got something to press it into. put the head back on later. <clears throat> now we have all the bits and pieces to put on. Now, oops, what am I doing? We have this bit here that fits over the face of the horse. So we'll cover that with glue and slip it on. Now we have these little skirt type things that go on the horse, but the problem, the problem with these is I never know where they go. Oops. Right, okay, I've worked out that one goes there. Okay, so we can put some glue around there. So all I can think now is that the other piece I had does the same thing on the other side of the horse. And that tail should be in. A little bit higher. 
There we are. So let's get where's the other piece I had? Was that it? Doesn't go in there. All that. Nope. And there's no other cloth piece. And I haven't dropped anything. <clears throat> the problem with these is that there is zero information near enough on the website for um, ah, it was under my camera stand oh that really worried me then I thought I had one well, I thought I'd lost something So there we are, that goes on like that. And now these go on. Now these go on. In ways that I have not a clue. Um. And as I said, there is there seems to be no proper. There we are, got it. There seems to be no proper real instructions for how these fit on. There is a. Is it the wrong one? I have it's that one. There's a page for. Um, instructions for it but it just shows the basic models it doesn't actually show for this lord so that is why I'm struggling a little bit to try and find exactly how these go but we'll get there we'll get there there we are so we've got that bit done couple more bits that need putting on but we'll give them time to settle and we'll come back to this pop some glue on there pop that over and then get the head then pop the head on Press it down, and that won't do. Next thing, we've got the sword, that uh, shield, sorry. Right down, and then this goes on here, like so. And there's nothing really seems to click into place with these. I've noticed they're not the nicest models to put together. And you have to really work at putting these on. <coughs> right, next job is this, and this fits. here now again because there's no
What am I doing? That's right, yeah, it fits in the... I don't need to panic. I had it on the wrong way. That fits in there. Like so. And then the next two pieces. One fits on the... And there, which is the reins of the horse. Now I was having terrible trouble with these earlier because the instructions seem to show that these go onto um, that, that it goes from there onto the side there and none of them were stretching enough and it was only afterwards after a while when I was doing the second one that I realised it was a little nod nobble flat nodular thing here and that is where it fits into not where I thought it did so even when you do have instructions the very very basic and not very detailed you know the very basic and not showing in detail where things are supposed to go but we get there in the end there's a lot of playing about trying to get these minis fixed in the right place but once they're there they're really good minis unfortunately as I say it takes a wee bit to get them in that position anyway he's on I'm not gluing him in yet um, because I want to prime and paint them first of all. I don't want them in a position where he's um, That is not sticking down the main, so I'm just going to add some more glue to then press in a little bit more. And then we have out here for this. Um, Yeah, and again, he's not sticking. Okay, so there's three points of connection for this, there's up here as well, so let's do that and pop that in and give these a bit of a squeeze. That looks as though it's sticking now properly. And then he can sit back on his horse. So we have one, Ooh. we have two, I'm just going to zoom out a little, Ooh. we have three, And we have four knights. So let's put these to one side and I'll show you them individually. Um, let's push them right off the cutting mat. Then you can see properly. 
There we are. Now these are big minis, as you can tell by my hands, with the size of them. Um, now, <clears throat> they are big minis, but they are a bloody nightmare to put together, as you may have noticed with some of the videos that I've done. Um, I will put the link in the description bar for the, this is the one we've just done. Um, put the link in the description bar to Parabellum's page for the instructions and you'll see what I mean saying that they are basic. There are things that it showed you on the Maximum, Spear, Maximum Clones but it doesn't actually tell you what they are, where they came from, where they're supposed to go. You know, that's a bit iffy. But, and then you've got the bits as well where they are, um, I'll put the leader in front. <coughs> there we are. Um, so, here's the bits that, uh, they, they're on the sprue and they don't tell you where they go or they're so thin on the sprue that when you try sniffing them off um, they basically just break now I've been talking to somebody uh, who I met up with today who gave me a good idea for those sites or sorts of things and that is to get the scalpel I'm using, as you can see, I'm using a Stanley knife for doing all these but if you use a scalpel, heat the scalpel up, scalpel up and then just touch it to the, the plastic and let it sort of like melt its way through. And that's a lot more gentler for cutting off than actually trying to snip them. So I may give that a try in future, but yeah, I'm going to leave the um, Maximum Clones to their own devices at the moment so that's it for this video i hope you've enjoyed it join me next time for some more um parabellum stuff where we will probably be making up the ferromancer for the spies faction so join us then but until then as always stay safe and take care god bless and bye for now.